Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today um, with our demo unit that finally came in, the Magic Wave 230i. I'm excited to try this thing out. Um, in the past year, I've had some chances to weld with a couple of them. They're sweet machines, so we're going to go through this unit today. Um, let's flip this thing on. Now, as it fires up, you're going to see the Fronius logo. So it's doing a pre power check on itself. As you can see, we are on the extension cord. 110 volt extension cord. It's probably a 50 foot extension cord we got run back to the wall. So this unit that came in is a water cooled 230i. We've got the cart which is an accessory um, and the water cooler which is an accessory also. So it's a kit that come you can there's different kits that come with all this stuff. Um, it comes with a ground TIG torch, all the water hoses. Uh, it does come with a wired foot pedal in a kit and on the TIG torch it has the remote control on the TIG torch so you can change the amperage and the power and all that stuff. Um, it comes with a flow meter regulator that shows it comes standard in the kit. So as this thing powers up, uh, we'll break down into it. All right, right there it is. So to dive right in, we got our amperage. Comes on, that's what the screen comes on, where it says right up top, AC, high freak. We can change, we can, to change the main amperage, we would press that button and we can we can go up from there. We're gonna turn it up to 150 amps. To toggle through the screens now, we can change the start current, the up slope, the main current, the down slope, and the end current. So if we want to change uh, our slopes and all that, we can. We'll keep going. AC balance. So you can see it depicts the picture of the sine wave. We're on 25% of it is cleaning, or 75% of it is on the penetrating factor there. So we can change that. All you gotta do is, I'm sorry, click on that. And you can toggle up and see how it changes the differences between the two. So we're gonna go back down to 25% here. Next one, electrode diameter. So we're running 332nd electrode and that's 3.2 millimeters just to change that you can like i said before you just got to depress that button move on to the next one cap shaping so cap shaping is for your older uh, gentlemen or ladies that want to ball that tungsten uh so if you turn this on it'll it says cap will be formed during the next welding start and you hit okay so what it'll do as soon as you press the pedal or use the hand control balls that tungsten so if you like to ball your tungsten it, it automatically does it for you, shapes everything. So we, we'll turn that off. Polarity. So I got it set on AC. To change that, like I said, you just hit that button there and you can DC negative or AC. There you go, That's it's easy as that, just one, one toggle. We're gonna run AC. Start current, going back to that upslope, maximum current, we're going back. So right now, we're on AC. Let's hop into the menu. So hit the menu button. Tacking's not on there. We're gonna click down in there. Tacking, pulse frequency, frequency with pulse pro, start current time, end current time, slope drop current, AC, and this is down where we can change our AC frequency. We got it at 150 hertz. I believe this unit, 250 hertz. Uh, it'll go all the way down to sine wave, 40 hertz. We're gonna go. We're gonna run 200. Look on that. Weld current offset, waveform positive, waveform negative. So we can change our waveform in the positive and negative side of the sine wave. Right now we just got rectangle hard, rectangle soft, triangle, and sinus, which is just your general sine wave. It's a softer, softer arc. Uh, we're gonna go back to rectangle hard. Same thing on that, we're gonna keep it rectangle hard. So now we're set up for our AC welding, AC on TIG. Now, just to get out of there, this thing will also stick. That's the 7018 setting. Cellulose, which is for your 6010 rod. Ignition parameters, arc monitoring, and trigger mode setup. So that's changing your, your trigger around on your hand control gas pre-flow post-flow you can change all that stuff uh, in this right here 
And then this is gonna tell you about the cooling unit. We got it on Eco. Eco on the cooling unit is just when you're not using it, the machine will, as you can see, the cooler is not running right now, but as soon as we hit the trigger on the, the torch or the foot pedal, cooler turns on, that's the Eco mode. So it's not constantly cycling. It's not constantly running. We can change that. Delay time flow sensor is 10 seconds. So if we're, all, we're down for 10 seconds, this thing automatically shuts off. It's just a uh, way to, so as, if you're used to welding with your older, you know, synchro waves, dynasties, that sort of thing, that cooler's constantly flowing, cooling, constantly. This thing, they developed this so uh, wear and tear on your, on your unit and coolant life goes up, right? So it's just a, a nice little feature that they stuck in there. Coolant flow warning level. So if you're not flowing enough coolant, it'll throw a warning. And that's if your coolant's dirty or you're low on coolant, anything like that. Job. So to di dive into that, you can set up jobs on this unit and uh, say you're welding, you know, a hundred of this part and you like this parameters, you can set that job in there and it'll, you can go to that job and it'll remember all your settings back for that job. Kind of a unique thing for this, this unit too. Um, this is like your service tech file. So you display system network, user management, administration. You can go in there and change some things if you want to lock stuff out and that kind of thing. Serial number, image version, IP address. Um, so these units, they all have an IP address to them. And let, well, I'll show you how to get into all that stuff here in just a second. That's all that for the menu. Go back to TIG. Got you all set. Hit menu to get out of there. We're on AC, right? Main current. We're on the 150 amps. So right now, I have a foot pedal that I'm using. It is a wireless foot pedal, as you can see. There's no cord. So, kind of a unique thing to this unit also. We'll shut it. I just shut the foot pedal off. We'll go back to the torch here. So now, the torch has a hand control. Every unit that comes from Fronius has hand controls, and then the foot pedal is an option. But as you can see, we're back on hand control because I was controlling it with that. Now, as soon as I turn that on, this, remember, this is Bluetooth, and I hit that foot pedal, it recognizes that. Now we're on the so the hand control now loses all functionality, and we're back to our foot pedal. Um, I'm a big fan of the foot pedal. It comes with a corded foot pedal. You can buy the Bluetooth version. It's pretty unique, though. We're going to use this. So on the, we'll dive into the torch here. So standard on this Magic Wave, like I said, comes with a the, the power button. So if you're going to the hand control, but we're back on the foot pedal, you got your arc on, and then you can remote control the amperage from your, so if you need more amperage, you just plus or minus the amperage on that unit. It has a light on the torch, comes standard on these. Shut that light off in case you're inspecting your weld or you're in a dark spot or you can't see that kind of thing. Pretty nice. It's actually very comfortable to use. Surprisingly, you would think that would be kind of bulky, but really it doesn't get in the way when you're using a foot pedal. Um, so like the first three feet of that torch, it's kind of got a ball and swivel socket in the bottom, so it's pretty nice. It has a leather whip on there, basically. It's covered up for like the first three feet and then it has a union and it goes to a rubber case. So it's encasing all your hoses in that rubber case. It's actually pretty nice, very durable. So, very unique. Now I'm gonna shut this unit off and show you guys on something here on the torch. So, back on this, this torch here, they have what's called it's depress and then comes apart. So, this unit here, um, and it comes standard so you can buy more of these right so this is like a consumable so if you want to have multiple setups as you can see here you're one of them people that likes to run big gas lenses like that and then you want to go back to a smaller gas lens or you just want to run different size tungstens that sort of thing you can buy these preset them up and just have them in a nice 
kit, say, nice little box like this here, and uh, store everything right in there. Put all your consumables right in the box. But what the beauty of this is, you can change these heads out. And I mean, that's, I think it's just an awesome thing. So what you do, there's a, there's a white arrow on this one, and there's a white arrow right there. You just line them up, press, and now you're locked in. Now remember though, you can, you can rotate that head so it rotates in a way, and you can weld like that. So it's only gonna come out when you line those up and pull out. Just remember that. So the reason I shut the unit off, and uh, I learned this by, by accident, I actually lined these up one day and pulled it out while I was running well. There's no stop on the coolant. Um, and it, it flowed coolant everywhere when I pulled that TIG torch. So you shut it off to change it. They do have a kit that recirks the coolant back into the cooler. Um, and we can talk about that later too. There's a kit that's an option that you can buy on these units. But so to dive into the TIG torch here. So standard on these, there's, there's a couple of different options you can do. But one of the main things I want to point out is that all these torches come with a removable head. So this is just the standard TIG torch body, and then you can change these out. So as you can see, I got multiple set out there. So you, if you're somebody that likes to run big, ga big gas lenses, or you know you want to run small, small nozzles, anything like that, different size tungsten, you can have multiple heads set up for multiple jobs. And all you got to do is you can see there's an arrow right here, and there's an arrow on here. You line them up, turn, and it's all set. It's not coming out. So you can see I got a little bit of coolant on me. It's not much that comes out of there. Make sure you have the machine off though when you're changing them, else it'll spray coolant. Or they do have a kit that has a recirculating coolant in the back. They install it at the factory. You just gotta say that's what you want and there's a kit for it. But pretty cool though. Um, now to get dive into consumables, the back cap is a Fronius item. You have to buy that from Fronius or from Baker's Gas, we sell them on. And we'll have that all this stuff linked below. So the back cap is proprietary to them, but all the front end consumables, so your gas lens or collet, collet bodies, anything like that, you can pick up anywhere. It's all standard stuff that would fit probably a WP9 or a WP20 torch. Um, if you want, if you're at your home shop and you want like a pencil torch, um, CK Worldwide makes a 25 foot Superflex that has a Fronius back end for this unit. So if you wanna buy something uh, standard that you're used to, they do make that torch. We're gonna to link that below from CK Worldwide. So pretty awesome though that we can change these things out. Now, if it were me and I, I like to run multiple size tungstens or different gas lenses like this, I'd have a couple of these set up. I mean, they are, it's so easy to change and that way less downtime. You can just set up a couple of them, have pre-sharpened tungsten in them. You mess one tungsten up, grab another head. You know what I mean? If you're in a buying working. So very cool setup, but uh, all right, let's give this thing a shot here. So I got it set up on AC, 150 amps, 200 Hertz and a hard square wave. Um, let's just try it. Now remember I'm on 120 volt, 50 foot extension cord. Let's give this thing a shot here. That's 150 amps, 200 hertz on a 110 outlet. It's not too bad at all. Um, thing, thing is pretty sweet. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. That's, that's pretty cool. Let's just dive in and do it. quarter-inch aluminum there so a little bit thicker but once that part warmed up man it, that thing really that really rocks it I like that a lot um, I like all the adjustability on it um, I like the feel of the torch 
I like that foot pedal. The foot pedal's very cool because it's no cord and we can hook it with our foot and pick it up, move it around. That's pretty sweet. So, just to touch base, kind of end this video here. There's going to be more videos coming up. We're going to dive into more functionality of this unit, um, more into the screens, what it can do with the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi. Uh, but all in all, I mean, it's a great unit. The only downside to it is price, right? So some it might not fit in everyone's budget. It is a, a pricey unit but you're getting one of the best tip builders they made on the planet. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty awesome. So maybe for a beginner person, it's not the right unit, beginner to immediate, but if you guys are in shops well and you're running, you know, just say the competitions units, um, this is gonna fit right in. It's gonna directly replace whatever you're running. I mean, that thing is awesome. All the adjustability, um, the AC output, it's awesome. And like I said, I'm running a 110 volt extension cord, so it, it's amazing. I mean, that, that blows my mind. If you tried that with any other unit, we'd pop breakers left and right. This thing's it's awesome. So, thanks for watching my video. Stay, stay tuned. All the stuff that we mentioned is going to be linked below. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. We're going to go over dive into this machine a little bit in depth. Thanks again.